Welcome to Corridor Crew. Today you're gonna learn, learn how to fall. <laughs> Hey everybody, we are joined today by the lovely and talented Guy de Silva. What's up? <laughs> Guy is a professional stuntman and he's going to teach us and you how to do actual stunt falls. Basically all those movies where you see the guys just taking the mega hits, well there's a technique to it so that you don't hurt yourself. Guy is the magician and he's going to reveal his secrets for us. If you're trying to get into stunts, watch this video and then go practice these techniques over and over and over again because it's always good to refresh it anyway, even if you know what you're doing yeah. to an extent because your body still has to remember it. Be mindful, stretch, warm up. Warm up after too, good cool down. Gee, now I've, I've watched a couple of videos, you know, I think I figured it out. So like, if you take a big hit, it's all about like straight knees and elbows oh, like yeah. this, and you just want all If you lay like that, you're like a cat. Easily, <laughs> nothing breaks, don't do that. There are three falls that you should definitely know how to do that stem and branch out to all the other falls that you'll do in the future. Front, we need to learn how to fall forward without smashing our face into the concrete. Side, we have to learn how to hit on our sides without breaking a tailbone and back. We have to learn how to fall on our backs properly without hurting ourselves. And these three falls, literally, you're gonna do in every job. I've done these falls over and over and over again. Because I trained it so much, I'm able to do these falls on the day when they need me to at the last second and I can bust it out and not get hurt, get back up, and they can call me in for the next day. If you're watching this video and you go and try this stuff, be safe. If you're gonna try to find that line, probably hurt yourself, it's not on us, it's on you. Work your way up, because you know what? If you break your arm, then make it harder to keep doing things with that arm in the future. Right, Ren? No. How many bones have you broken? Uh, at least 13, but that's beside the point. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ren! <laughs> before the age of 12. Literally falling down. You're great for this. I would be lying if I said I was not concerned a little bit. We're gonna break it down bit by bit, build you guys up, and then we'll start getting more and more into the falls. So I'm gonna show you guys first how to do it safe, and now I'm gonna show you how to perform it. start with back fall and I want to start with getting you guys in the right position first. This is where we want most of our contact. We don't want any contact here. We don't want any contact here. We definitely want any contact here. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your chin tucked up but you don't hit the back of your head. Hitting the back of your head is not a good thing. Really focus on keeping your chin to your chest. That's very important, okay? You're gonna lay down on this mat one at a time. Your feet are gonna be flat on the floor. Your palms are gonna be flat. You're gonna try to avoid your elbows from smashing into the ground, right? You're gonna slap with your hands, and I want you to raise your hips up. And I'm not putting any weight on my heels. So I'm trying my best to keep everything on the balls of my feet, and my tailbone off the ground. This is the position I wanna see you guys in. Cool? Giggity. Yeah. So it's like, bow. Nice, one, two. Why is he slapping the mat? So yeah. what it does is it disperses energy. So rather than staying just in your shoulders, you're letting that energy go from your shoulders into the ground. We like to think of it as I'm hitting the ground, not getting hit by it. We take the fight to the ground! <laughs> now that we have the basic position for when we do a backfall, that's the position we want to land on, right? We're going to start very slow, and I just want you guys to go from here down. You looked like Spider-Man there for a moment. <laughs> Is that why stunt guys, when they fall, they go like, oh! <laughs> That's the way how they hide it. So we're just rolling, get used to getting into that position from another movement. Oh, my head. Yeah. yeah. And that's where you find why you need to tuck your chin. If your neck is loose, that thing gonna swing back. Bow! Oh. <laughs> Roll. Bow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so pointy, dude. Let's actually do a fall. We're gonna do our first version of a back fall. It's gonna be very low and it's very fast. Whoop. The idea is that a rug has been swept from under your feet. So now your feet are gonna go forward, you're gonna get to your shoulders, you're gonna keep your hips off the ground, and we're gonna perform at the same time. You're in your fighting stance, the rug is swept. Dude, you did like a little kick. It's to help with the speed of me coming down. The faster I come down, the easier it is for me. Because if I don't use my feet, watch this. I'm more likely going to either catch my foot under me, which is not good, not a good position to be in. So I'm kicking my feet out to give that energy that I need to get to the higher part of my shoulders. Start with your knees bent. You can be a little bit closer to the ground. It might help you, give you a little spring. Right. Nice! So now, I want you to do it again, and I want you to hide the fact that you have your hips up off the ground. Oops, I forgot to <laughs> One more, one more. Do it again, you got this. 
You did, it looked like you hit your head a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Go! Oh, nice performance, dude. All right, that was, that was better. Good. Hell yeah. I mean, this is day one for us, right? Yeah, yeah. So this, you guys are doing great for day one. And... Nice. <laughs> a little bit late. <laughs> so when I'm tucking my chin, am I like specifically trying to press my chin against my sternum here, or? That's what I like to think. I'm trying to keep it as much foot as tight as I possibly can. I'm slapping and I'm trying to push as hard as I can into my chest because I know that the moment I hit, then I can re relax and go into my performance. <laughs> oh. Nice. That's gonna take some practice. Is just getting my. Chin tuck, because right. I, I focused on it, and I still, once I hit, I was like, I don't know if I did it. Well, how's the back of your head feel? I hit it, but not hard. Not hard, right? Go. Nice. Nice. How's your neck feel? My neck feels better. Actually, that one felt good. This is a lot more challenging than it looks. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm actually surprised at how hard this is. There's a lot going on. There's a lot to think about, and you're trying to run through it all, and then, like, you'll do one of the things, but then you forgot about the other three. Okay. You're right. So you have to do it so many times that you do all the things instinctually. So now we're gonna do side fall. And to be surprised, this position right here, as seductive as it is, is actually very close to what it is that you wanna be when you do a side fall. I have this hand here to help with impact. I have this hand here with impact with my shoulder being protecting my head. I am gonna be pushing with my back foot up to keep space mm -hmm. right here so that my tailbone doesn't smash into the ground. So this foot is actually also turned. All your points are protected. I just wanna see you guys get in this position. Naturally, once you make impact, there is going to be some rotation to your back or to your front. Yeah, nice. Good. Hey, don't watch that hand though. You had it like this. Palm down, not up. If you do this, more than likely going to break your hand or your wrist. Oh my god, there's so many different things to think about and they all have to be done like that. <laughs> Friends dead, everybody. Now that we have the movement of it right, we're gonna now go from a roll to it. So the idea is that somebody swept your leg. You alright? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so this leg is coming up, you're coming down, bow! First point of contact with the mat is gonna be here. My hands in back. Wow. Bow. Nice! It's hard to get this toe down. Yeah, it is. But as long as you're thinking like, hey, I gotta get that over to keep extra height off my hip and my knee, you're good to go. You got that toe. You got the toe. You got the toe. I did, I did this. I gotta do this. Yeah. Nice. That was a good one. That was a clean one. This is forever going to change the way I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, sweet dreams. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's all like whiplash city. I mean, it's not bad whiplash, but it's definitely like, but you definitely like, oh god, my neck, my neck. Yeah. You're gonna wake up sore, I promise you, especially if this is like your first time doing this. Now we're gonna perform it. Somebody has swept your leg, right? My energy is kicking everything up. I'm slapping everything. Then my feet are gonna come down. I'm gonna make sure my hip doesn't hit, and then I'm gonna perform more out of it. Nice. <laughs> Dude, good performance. Yeah, how'd that feel? A little, yeah, it felt not bad. But you feel like a little bit. A little bit, a little right. bit. What I'm teaching you doesn't take away all of the pain. Go! Oh. <laughs> See, is acting. Acting. You're doing a stunt on set. How do you know if somebody actually hurt themselves and you need to get in and intervene and stop the shot? They Fine. never stop the shot. Stunt guys, they never stop the shot for the stunt unless it's one of those like things where it's like, oh God. However, they'll wait. For most parts, we'll do something. We'll get thrown through glass or we'll hit the ground. And then at the end of the take, once they say cut, they'll be like, is stunts good? Is everybody good? And then you can either go, <laughs> or you go, yeah, I'm all right. Let's go again. <laughs> but you have to hold your tears. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Or they just don't see it because you're not facing camera. <laughs> oh. You know, I'm taking a break today to tell you guys about our sponsor, Vessi. They make uh, awesome shoes. They're comfortable, stylish, everyday sneakers. And, you know, they look pretty sweet too. They're waterproof shoes. You get water all over these things, it's not even a problem, all right? Because water's gonna beat up, fall off. They're super easy to clean. You just wash them with water, toss them in the washing machine, done. This isn't your just generic everyday shoe cloth. This is made from Dymatex. Keeps you warm in the winter and cool in the summertime. Yeah. 
they're sustainably made. They're basically vegan shoes, less material, less waste, no animal products. The shoes are basically vegan, so you don't have to feel guilty, because I know I don't. I love doing backflips, and I love doing backflips. With these shoes, it feels great. Click the link in the description and use the code Corridor Crew to get 25 bucks off for Vessi's holiday sale. Now's the perfect time to do so. It's the rainy season. Get it for your friends, get it for your family. Corridor Crew, use the code 25 bucks off. Let's get back to some more stunts with Geek. <laughs> Clean. We did our back fall, we did our side fall, the third fall, front fall. Position that we're gonna be in, the shakiest position ever. Plank position. I am not smashing my elbows into the ground, not doing that. I am not letting my face hit the ground without my arms being in the way first. We're using this surface of our body. Here, I'm keeping my groin off the ground. For you guys out there, you'll thank me, I promise. Here, bow, and then you let it disperse. Uh, can you, how how high of a fall will that save you? <laughs> oh, I saw it. I saw it from like a split second. It's like one frame. You make the you make the frame and then you go. Ah! I didn't realize you're actually gonna get some air off of that. Like you went up and horizontal. A little plank. Nice. Now we're gonna we're gonna work our way from just this is the easiest place to do it from from our knees. Right. We're gonna drop. We like to make kind of a triangle or a diamond. I feel like this is the best structure. If anything goes wrong and I go down, my hands are there kind of to save my face, yeah. right? So I'm like, whoa. Ready, and three, two, one, clap. Oh, nice. That was great. That was really what? good. That's <laughs> <laughs> spent more than take five dollars. I buy that. Yeah. Two, one, action. Oh. Nice. You got a great go. Go. Nice, friend. So now we're gonna do it from standing. And what we're doing, same energy. We're gonna start low and we're gonna kick our legs back this time. So it goes three, two, one, good. Dude, you literally dove into the mat. Like, like we attack the ground when we do stunts. Nice. You get a lot again. less whiplash from doing it that way. Right? Yeah. Now you actually have to put a little bit more height. You're One, go. Oh. For a second, I saw you like kind of rotate your arm in. And I was like, oh, wait. I landed here. Yes, you did. If that was on concrete, you did. It'd be very painful. Yes. Okay. Okay, one more time. Oh. That was pretty great. That was actually good. No, that was good. I, my, my nuts went boop, just a little bit. Just a little bit, right? <laughs> Yeah. You guys, when you see me go, it looks like my feet are higher is because I know that the moment I hit, I can probably engage my core and control myself from smashing my nuts into the ground. Two, one, action! That was great! I, hit my, I totally let my head hit though. You did. So we've learned the three basic falls. We've added some performance to it. We're still a bunch of noobs, but you know what? It's time for us to take our test, see if we can step up from a white belt to whatever the next level is, like Yellow. tan belt. We're gonna do a live episode of Stuntmen React here, where <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna react to Corridor Crew's stunts. This is gonna be fun. Each one of us is gonna do one of the falls. We'll rock, paper, scissors for it. One, two, shoot. All right. <laughs> one, two. Oh, yes! So, Nico, what are, you, what are you gonna do? You know what? I got the biggest reaction with my front fall. I'm gonna stick with the front fall. Right. Now it's up for side and back. I'm gonna choose paper. All right, I'm two scissors. <laughs> All right, you have two points now. All right. <laughs> All right. It's with you. Oh, man. So what are you going to do? Dude, I'm going to get the, the French painting fall. It's like good. Side I was going to choose back anyway because I need to work on it. So y'all picture falls. I'm right here at the camera, and I'm going to be watching every single frame. And I'm going to let you guys know where you got it right, where you got it wrong, what you can improve. Three, two, one. Action. <laughs> that was so bad. Boom. So there was no head reaction. Nice. Ooh. You saved yourself. Ooh. That was good. That was good. Not Look bad. Good. Yeah? No. Yeah. Okay, cool. Not bad. Thanks. You just forgot the head reaction. You gotta remember that there's not just the fall, it's also the impact of getting hit. Nico gets a B. Perfect. I give Nico a B. So Ren got side fall, right? So Ren, you're gonna get your leg swept from under you. Sounds ready. We're rolling. And Three, two, one, action! Oh. Is Red okay? Stunts good? 
Yeah, I, I like didn't do it at all. I just <laughs> I just went down. <laughs> Late reaction. <laughs> good face. Oy, didn't control his neck, but he saved it with his arm because he had good placement of where his arm was. Way better to hit your arm than it is to hit the concrete. I would give that C plus. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, that's not a B. I almost froze. I was like, huh, how, how do I do this? And that's why we practice nonstop, because even if your brain shuts off, it still knows what it needs to do, right? I want that stair fall. Oh, dude, oh my blind. goodness. Okay, no. hold on. No. No. Okay. No. Not ready? Not safe. Not ready. You're gonna feel like you can do certain things, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, 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 I got this. I'm gonna take it slow. Stunts ready? Ready. And three, two, one, action! Nice. Nice. Ooh, good, good, good. Oh! <laughs> wow. So exaggerated. <laughs> okay. I want you to look at this. Oh, Clint. no, what I do? <laughs> the preemptive thing you just did. They're like, <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> yeah. Okay, your, you wind, your, your wind up? Yeah. We should already be in a position where we're already ready to go. Oh. You started in a position where you weren't ready to go. Got it. You were already standing, and then you had to get ready, and that took from your reaction, and then you fell, right? Yeah. That's my secret. I'm always so. wound up. <laughs> <laughs> head reaction was too early. Head reaction was against how the pan was working. Ah. So the pan would knock your head back, yeah. which then would lead to your fall. Got it. So, so I'm gonna give yeah. you a B. I'll take that. You guys passed, because none of you guys got hurt, right? Which is very important. I feel great. If Ren feels great, we're good. You didn't join the 14 <laughs> <Yes>. Bones Club. <laughs> <laughs> no 14th bone today. Stunt longevity takes knowing the technique properly and being able to perform while remembering that technique. And you guys were able to perform and keep yourselves able to get up and do it again, which is the most important thing about stunts. I've always had a tremendous amount of respect for stunt performers, but actually learning how to do this and all the intricacies that I just never comprehended before now, like I have a whole new level of respect for you guys. You guys did really good. I just threw three falls at you in the same day and you each had to perform it and you guys came out and you did your thing and you all came with passing grades and nobody broke anything. Yeah, awesome. Round of applause for you guys. Yeah. Thank you. you guys are stuntmen in training now. Look at yes. that. Does this mean I can finally be on Stuntman React? Well, that was fascinating. It was really cool to get that insight into the world of stunts and falls and how to start what goes into this profession because it's such a mysterious and cool profession. You guys should go check out Guy's Instagram at GuyXTosilva. We'll have a link in the description below. Check out some of the cool stuff he's posted. Yeah. And if you just decide to start practicing anything in this video, remember, take it slow, warm up, stretch it out. You have to treat it with a professional mindset and a mature mindset because you are going to be taking your body and starting to test the limits a little bit. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs>